three, four, one, two, three, four. Today I've got the old song, The Wayfaring Stranger. This is a great tune to work on playing a song that's in a minor key on the banjo without retuning. I've seen a lot of different versions of this tune over the years. Some where they retune the banjo into a G minor tuning or something like that. But I like to try and work on this version without retuning the banjo. It gives you some, some practice, you know, staying away from your fifth string and some, some stuff that we're going to work on in this song. I've got kind of a Bill Monroe inspired version. That, that His version was the one I was listening to when I worked up this tune. A lot of people have done this song over the years and there's lots of different versions with different chords, but his version was, I, I really liked. So that's the, the version I chose to work up. I'm gonna break down the whole tune note for note and then show you a bunch of backup stuff you can do. So here's the Wayfaring Stranger in the key of A minor. All right, so here's the first two measures of Wayfaring Stranger. Let me play it and then I'll break it down. <laughs> time. Okay, so we're starting with a pickup on the end of beat one. I've got my index finger of my left hand over on the first fret of the second string, and I'm going to pluck that note with the index finger of my right hand. So my best advice is count beat one, so you're counting one and. So we're playing on the end of beat one, so Best advice is count beat one. That'll help you play on the upbeat. So one and. Then we're gonna do an open two hammer on on the third string. So open to two. So I'm using my second finger of my left hand. And then we're gonna go back to that first fret on the second string. And then we're gonna hit the open first string. And with my right hand, I'm doing index, thumb, index, middle. So that's without the left hand down. So the count is one and two and three, four. So the last two notes are quarter notes. So don't do those too quick. So one and two and three, four. One more time. Here's the pickup. One and two and three, four. Same thing with the don't do the quarter notes too fast. Don't do that hammer on the open two hammer on too quick. Give that a full eighth note. So it's two and three. Okay, now here's measure two. We're gonna do an open two hammer on on the first string. You can kind of keep your other fingers down. So we're kind of in our A minor chord. The song's in A minor. So we're doing just a three finger A minor chord. So I, I basically had my third finger off when I played that open first string. And now I'm ready to hammer it down onto the second fret. And that's gonna be a one and for measure two. So one and, one more time. One and, so don't do that too fast. Same with the other hammer on that we just did. One and, and then we're gonna do two forward rolls. Three, two, one, three, two, one. So those are my strings. Third string, second string, first string. And I'm just keeping my A minor down. This is one of those songs you can play straight or you can play with a little bit of swing. So it might, you might, I like doing it with a little bit of swing so it sounds like this. time. One and two and three and four and. And if you're just doing the right hand of measure two, it'd be. So it's middle and then two forward rolls. T-I-M, T-I-M. So don't let that hammer on throw you off. You know, keep the right hand solid there. One and two and three and four. Okay, one more time. Here's one measures one and two together. So one and two and three. Measure three. 
We're going to keep our A minor down, and we're going to hit the second fret on the third string, and then the second fret on the first string. These are quarter notes, so we're going one, two, and then we're going to hit the open first string. So take your third finger off of your left hand. And then we're going to do a little pull off. And then we're going to land on the first fret of the second string. So let me play that and I'll break it down. So here's measure three. One, two, three. So we're, we're, let me count that out for you. So it's a little tricky, the timing. Um, we're doing a... We're, coming in on a 16th note pull off. So we're, we're skipping beat four and coming in on a 16th note. So let me count it for you. So we're going one, two, three, and then beat four is, is, is we're letting that open first string ring out for the first part of beat four. So see that little dot next to the zero? So that's adding a little bit of time. It's a dotted note. So we're going one, two, three, four, E and, and then we're landing on the first fret of the second street on beat one. So just play it with me a few times. The main important thing there is that you land on the first fret on beat one. You can do that pull off a little earlier or a little bit, you know, it's it's kind of an indifferent pull off, but that's the timing of it. So it's one, two, three, four, E and one. So again, I'm counting beat four, at least when I'm practicing to help me hear that downbeat so then I can play on kind of the off beat. One more time. One, two, three, four, E and one. One more time, just for practice. One, two, three, four, E and one. So, and, I, and I like doing my pull off, so I'm kind of pulling, pulling the string back towards my palm of my left hand. So I kind of like, you can really pull on the string. I, I like that sound personally. You know, I'm kind of pulling, pulling the string backwards. And then with, so with my right hand, I'm doing thumb, Middle, 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 and then I'm landing index with my right hand on the on the first fret of second string for the first me beat of measure four. So one more time. Here's the the first three measures. So one. And that's start measure four. So measure four, we're we're landing on the first fret of the second string for beat one. I'm using my index finger, my right hand there. And then we're gonna um, go down to the second fret of the third string. So those can basically be kept down the entire time for, you know, after you do that first hammer on in, in the pickup, keep, keep those two fingers down the whole time, okay? So we're doing one, two, and then we're gonna do kind of a, a little mini roll here. We're gonna hit first, uh, first string, second fret. And then we're going to do a forward roll, three, two, one. So T-I-M, those are my strings. I've got my A, my three finger A minor down there the whole time. So measure four sounds like this. One, two, three, and four, and. One more time. One, two, three, and four, and. So those last four notes are eighth notes. Three, and four, and. Make sure you give everything, you know, the quarter notes on this song plenty of timing. I, I kind of like the space in this song. I didn't put too many kind of scruggsy rolls in this song. I like a little bit of space. So, you know, this is a good song to work on your counting. So here's measure four one more time. One, two, three, and four, and. Okay, now here's measure five. We're going to hit second fret on the third string twice. Two quarter notes. One, two, and then we're going to do... Third string, second fret, first fret, second string, and then second fret on the first string. So I still got my A minor down the whole time. Keep 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 your notes down. So we're going one, two, three, and four. So beat four is a quarter note, so give that plenty of time. One, two, three, and four. One more time. Here's five. One, 